Good day everybody. Today I'm going to look at how you use certain built-in functions that are in Microsoft Excel and I'm going to also show you how you can build a formula or create a formula from scratch in Microsoft Excel. Before I continue though or go into it, I'm going to ask you to subscribe if you are a new subs um, viewer, share, like, and please watch the ads. We are going to look at several functions. These are the counter function, the sum function, the min function, and the max function. I'm not going to look at the average function because we already looked at the average function. However, I am going to show you how to create a, a formula to calculate the average from scratch, how to create a formula from scratch to calculate the average. I'm also going to show you, apart from how to use the sum function, how you can add, add or find the total of something by writing the formula from scratch or creating the formula from scratch. So I'm going to be using one of the Excel spreadsheet that I've used already. I just changed it up a little bit. So first thing is first is to find the total. So what I did was to insert a column with total because I want to show you how to use the sum function to calculate the total. Now the total would have to be for the subjects that are there, which is from 90 right across to 90, which is from EDPM right across to HSB right across to EDPM. So that's from 90 to 90, 90, 80, 70, 90, 90. So how do you find that total? First, you have to click in the cell where you want your formula, which is right here, where I'm swinging my mouse pointer. So to find the sum, you would have to click on the auto sum, the drop down arrow beside the auto sum icon, and then select sum. And if you notice, it highlights all the figures that it saw in the spreadsheet. But you don't want all the figures, you only want from HSB right across to EDPM. So what you need to do is to block your own range. So to do that, you click on it and drag it across just to cover the area that you want to find the total of. So when you do that, now you would press enter and get your answer. So your total would be 420. And like I have shown you before, you don't need to reinsert the formula. Just copy the formula by autofilling. And to do that, you ensure that you are on the cell with the formula. Look at the bottom right corner for a black plus, which is called a file handle, and click and drag it. Right now, you're seeing my black plus. Just click and drag it down. And what it do? What it will do is to for um copy the formula and put it in for the other persons good so that's how you use the sum function how do you do this manually how do you create the formula from scratch this i'm going to show you now so that's how you go about using microsoft built-in formula to get the total but you can do this manually you can do this by creating a formula to do that. So I'm going to show you how you do that now. So I'm going to remove what I did just now and show you how to do it manually. First thing is first, a formula must begin with an equal sign. So we're going to put in the equal sign and what we do is to click on each figure. And if you notice, when you click on a figure, what comes up is the cell address, where it is located. So I clicked on 90 but C2 come up because that's where it is located. All right, so it's 90 plus, so you're going to type plus, 80, then you type plus, 70, then you type plus, 
90 then you type plus 90 again and then once you hit the last figure in your calculation you then press enter and see you get back 420 and that you can autofill as well all right guys i did show you how to use the average function but i'm going to show you how you would create the average from scratch so i'm going to click into the cell for danae simpson to calculate her average from scratch all right so when we do math because you have to have a little math knowledge when you're doing excel now when you do math to find an average you have to add up all that you need to add up and then divide it by the amount of values or figures that you added so we're looking at one two three four five five figures so when we add these five figures we're going to be dividing them by five to get the average so what i'm going to show you is how to create this from scratch so again you have to put in your equal sign then what is different in excel is that you have to bracket off what is it that you need to add first then you divide by five so we have to open a bracket after we put in our equal sign then add the figures so we're going to click on 90 plus 80 plus please pay attention to the fact that the cell addresses for these figures that i click on comes up uh 70 plus 90 plus 90 then we're going to close our bracket because we want to tell the computer that they should add all of these first then divide by five because it's five figures that we are averaging so we use the backslash in excel to divide and we would put the numeral 5 and then press enter and if you notice 84 is there again and again you have to um, autofill to save time just autofill and there you go so that's how you go about doing the total and the average from scratch as well as how to use the sum function to find the total now we have what we call highest average down the bottom here lowest grade and number of students in the class i'm going to quickly switch over to the notes that i had before to show you what these function is used for the min function it says that it returns the minimum value in a range and the max function it returns the maximum value in a range the counter function counts how many values are in a range all right so we're going to quickly switch back and we're going to find the highest average now when you hear highest average which of those function we could use max remember max returns the highest average or highest in our range so we have to use the max function so again we're going to click in the cell that we want the formula in so we're going to click right beside we could click right beside highest average if we want it there or we could put it right here on the average just to the same row with highest average and the same column with average if you want it to be uniform you could do that so, so i'm going to leave it here so what we need to do is to go to the auto sum drop down arrow and select max because we want to find the highest average so we want to find the maximum average if you notice as well it are it selected the range that has the average which is what we want but if you look down here where my mouse pointer is swinging there is a blank cell in it because nothing is in it we could go ahead and press enter to get our answer but if something else was in it that we didn't want in it we would have to block the range that we need so let us pretend as if it was something is in it that we don't want so we're going to block the range that we want so we're averaging this we're finding the maximum sorry of 
this range, which is the average. Then we press enter and get the answer. So the highest average is 86.8. And if you look among all the averages that are there, you would see that the formula is correct. All right, so next we have lowest grade. And if we recall, the function to find the lowest grade would be min. So we're going to click into the cell, any cell in this case, because the grades are all over, all over the columns. So we could just say we want it right beside lowest grade. We could click there and then go to the drop down arrow for auto sum and select min. What do we want to find the min of? Grades. So we have to block all the grades that are there which is this range from HSB to EDPM from Danny down to Alex. And then we press enter. So the lowest grade is 20. And if we look among all the grades that are there, we would see that 20 is indeed the lowest grade. Then we have number of students in the class. And if we recall the counter function is what counts the number of students in the class. So it wants you to use the counter function this time. All right, we could click here. As long as we're in the same row with whatever we're finding, we can just click somewhere in there and then go to the auto sum drop down arrow. We don't see counter here, so we have to go to more functions. Then where you see select a category, change it to all. And then you're going to select a function which is counter. So we're going to be looking for counter under counter under select a function. The counter is right here. So we are, we are going to be clicking on counter and then OK. Then we're going to block the range that we wanted to count. So if we want the number of students, of course, we can block any of these range, either the range with the surname or the range with the first name. I'm going to use the range with the surname and then select OK. So it tells me that there are five students in the class. And if you count for yourself, you would see that there are one, two, three, four, five students in the class. So that's how you use your counter function, your max function, your min function, your sum function. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you have any questions, if you have any comment, I would be happy if you put it in the comment section and I will get back to you. Thank you again for staying with me. Thank you for watching. Please, I'm asking you kindly to watch the ads. If you have not subscribed before, to subscribe, like the videos, share the videos. Thank you guys.